And here we are doing an access point heat exchanger installation on the ProChem Legend. And as you can see, it's fitting in there rather nicely. Really nice. Look at that. That is handsome. And uh, it's actually skinnier in the back. And I'll get more photos going and more video footage going to show you all the ins and outs of how we installed it. And uh, just to show you that we took the front panel off, we installed it, we put it on its shanks, bolted it down. Everything looks really nice. This is the answer to all of you uh, that have the ProChem Legend Trailblazer, Performer 405, Sabre, Lancer, Bruins, Bridgepoint. We'll replace all of them and get you guys back on the road and making money in this uh, fantastic industry and this unit will come up with really good stable heat you really love it and here we have just taken out the uh, original equipment and you can see uh, it's ready to receive the access point heat exchanger here we go this is going into the legend and these are the fittings that we're putting on we've got a JIC 3 8 and we have the sensor and we have another JIC military flare Navy standard flare male flare and we got a one half T and this is a one half NPT right here to one half male flare this is three eighths NPT to one half male flare and you've got a basic L three eighths you have a bushing right there which goes from three-eighths female to male one-half and so this is going to go right in the unit and all of you guys that are out there if you're if you don't have an accumulator pulse dampening unit that's attached to your pump you must use the pulse hoses we sell them online on our truck mount store www.truckmountstore.com we put two of them on here to bring more stabilization and more absorption into the energy exerted from the uh, high out manifold. So as you can see, these work really great and they'll help stabilize and take a lot of the hit off of your coils and your heat exchanger as well as your fittings and hoses. Very important that you have a pulse dampener. If you don't use this, buy them on our store. We can add it in one in the packet. There are $30 a piece, and uh, without it, uh, can void the warranty. You must have these on your pumps. Otherwise, they really run the crap out of your coils and the heat exchanger, as well as all the fittings, and you don't want that. And you don't want intervals and spaces of uh, cavitating pulsations in between your pulse stream. You want a nice even stream that minimizes uh, the effects of straining your pipes and fittings. So this is what I did. I added it right on there using a 3 8 It's a 3 8 male pipe thread about 18 inches long and it flexes and it moves with the pulsations. So this must be on all the pumps for any time that you do an installation with our heat exchangers. And for all, uh, truck mounts should always have these. This one originally had a pulse dampener, but I think it was taken off maybe when the pump was replaced. And here the heat exchanger is, and it's easier on in. It's in there real nice. And we have it lined right up on the holes and they're all threaded so they'll go right up there and then we're going to connect the flange with the bottom flange and the other pipe that we have right there will be connected right to the bottom of the exhaust diverter and again I build these so this will come with the kit along with the flex hose and it will bolt right up there with Allen bolts right up into the other opposing flange of the exhaust diverter. So this is going to look really nice and it's going to work nice. Come on, dude. So we're putting the uh, connections for the water from the unloader and we're also putting in the discharge part of it. 
before we put it all the way in connected to the exhaust we're going to make sure that the water connections are put on first Good. It's got a lot of room here now. So we don't, we're not stuck with that original equipment catalytic plate that's sticking way out, so it's a lot easier of a fit in the rear of it. So it goes in there better, you know, without having that catalytic plate sticking way out. But so bolted in there real nice. And uh, lined up perfect. You got a lot of space between the slats. And adding on the temperature sensor wire. Brand new access point heat exchanger, ProChem aftermarket. Better than the original. Not a bad installation. There's a lot of room. Once you've taken this panel off, and the diverter knob and all, and the uh, unloader knob, just pull it off slides right out and slides right back in. There's a lot of room. So now that we got it in and secured in the back heat exhaust uh, diverter is hooked up to the inlet at the bottom. Real easy connection. We have the panel. We're going to put the panel on. We just had to redo this oil tube here that goes to your blower for your oil lubrication into your blower. And this here will be attached to your high out manifold, which is right here. Put the, put the panel on and we'll screw on the knobs for your exhaust diverter as well as your hand adjuster unloader. And we're ready to go. So we'll put that on right now. And here we are. We're all completed with the installation of the access point heat exchanger. And as you can see, the pipe goes right out through the middle, perfectly lined up. And this machine is ready to go. The access point heat exchanger will replace the OEM. The performance is outstanding. More longevity will last longer. Keep those pro chems running and make your money. Save, save yourself $20,000 and just for $1,500, you'll have the, most, the best heater in the market that you could ever possibly imagine. This heater is outstanding. So call us today at 727-505-2989 and we'll get you started in the best heat exchanger in the industry. Thank you.